What's the date today, Dirk? Well, it is the 1st of December, 2021. I was just thinking, we've been in this house for 22, almost 22 years, guys. 22 years in this place. Wow. December 1, 2021. Can you believe it? Let's take a look. I'm thinking weather-wise. Ah, oh, St. Beat, St. Pete. Beach at 73 degrees. We're heading to uh, Byron Center's 39. That's not bad. Kathy and I are heading to, uh, is it North Shores in uh, Alabama? So <clears throat> it's real close to, uh, hey, check the leaves out. I'm not in my thing. I can't really see it, so I'm holding you up. the uh, North, is it North Shores? I think it's North Shores in uh, Alabama. I got my lawnmower back, guys. Really happy about that. See it? They kind of, oh, look at that. Still got some snow out. So 39 degrees, obviously it's not freezing. So the snow has melted off like on my barn roof there. It's odd that there's no snow on. Oh, the sun shines on there quite a bit. I think that's the reason why. I'll bet you there's snow on the other side. We'll take a walk over there real quick. What I'll do is I'll go into the barn, open the overhead, because I bet you it's colder in the barn than out here. <clears throat> I'll try the heater on again. I haven't tried it for a while. Lights on. Let's get some more lights. It's probably colder in here than uh, out there. No, it's not. It's 41 degrees. It's not too bad. So really what I wanted to do here, I'm going to kick this thing on a second. Let's see. Turn this on. Let's turn the radio down a little bit. This is um, on MSNBC, I believe, Joy Reid show. And there. Let me turn some more lights on because it is kind of dark in here. I did a deep dive on the horse stalls. They're going to look really, really clean now. Yesterday I did a uh, um, parent stall, so pretty happy about that. Let's fire this thing up once. <clears throat> turn the gas on down here. This cover, this tank won't go in yet because it's interfering right here see that so I'm gonna raise this thing up a half inch and then be able to slide the tank in or put the cover on so you put it on high and you're supposed to push it down and push this in oh, there it is it's lit you guys see that did you hear it you can see the flames are going so um one of the things some of the guys were telling me, hey, Dirk, you really can't use this inside. I really feel the heat on my head. This is amazing. He said, you really can't use this thing indoors because of the, uh, the smoke and stuff. But I've ran it like a couple days now, off and on, of course. And uh, I can feel the heat, the infrared. Um, you can see the, the moisture going away up top there. See it? Totally going off of the sh uh, reflector. But uh, I haven't felt any. How do you know that the. Uh... Oh no, I haven't seen any smoke. Let me put it that way. I don't see any smoke. And why would it? It's propane. So I'm not sure what they meant by that. That would be too smoky. That doesn't make any sense. But again, that's really high right now. Oh man, that feels so delicious, guys. But it's only 40 some degrees. I should have a windbreaker on now. Um, but I didn't feel that bad. Crank the door open. <laughs> FedEx is here. Hey, I bet you he's got my, uh, my painting easel. I ordered an easel about three weeks ago and it never came. And I realized uh, they, they canceled it. 
I don't know why, he never told me anything, or it just didn't have come through. And uh, yeah, got my tractor back, guys, my uh, lawnmower. Check it out. There it is. They, uh, <clears throat> what did they do to it? They put all new bearings in the, um, the blade area. And uh, also, I better check my, oh man, this feels so good. I gotta check my uh, invoice because they're supposed to put uh, new blades on there. I see they put a new um, gas filter in here. Or something. Looks like there's two filters now. New pipe, new hose. They wiped it down a little bit. Got a new belt on there, drive belt for the for the blades. Uh, I'm sure a new drive belt. Everything, all new. Uh, change the oil, replace the filter. I see they cleaned, they did a good clean up on this thing. Pretty impressed. The problem I had with it is uh, many fold. <laughs> uh, they replaced all these here. A new nut on there. Or no, I want to put new nut. I put new axles in there, and you can see the the, the anti scalping down there too. That's nice. So I'm happy. I'm gonna get some paint, some uh, uh, some Kubota. It's a Kubota paint, and then touch up all the paint down there, sand it quickly, and then paint it up. I'm surprised they didn't say anything about the wheels, the tires. Uh, they greased it. You can see there's purple grease there. I don't know. That might have been me doing it too. I don't know. Um, why did I open this door? I don't know anymore. So, uh, I am working on... Oh, yeah. I have to go to the store. I'm cutting this thing out here. I don't know if you can see the, the mark here. So, I cut it this far. Got this far. And then the blade broke on this thing here. I go, what is going on? So... I did, I think, I, yeah, I did one of them here. You can see where I cut it. See it? Now I just got to knock down these edges here and try to mimic this radius here. There's a radius here. I don't know if you can see it clearly. But uh, I, I'll just grind that on both sides. I have four of them to do because I'm making two new, oh, man, that heater feels so good. I'm making two new, um, raised gardens so i want to do that this week for sure finish it uh I'm, i got the frames done the top and bottom frames the, these two are the tops these two are the bottoms here the bottoms have the support for the bottom um hey look what i see yum 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 love that stuff <laughs> anyway so that's what I'm going to do today. Gary West and I are going to go on a little ride. We're going to do lunch and then uh, putts, uh, putts around. He's got an announcement to make someday soon. Yeah. So anyway. Oh, this heater feels delicious, guys. So I left the tractor and the lawnmower out all night last night, which is kind of dangerous. And the trailer. All, that things, all those things could get stolen easily. Um, not real bright, not real bright of me to do, but just one of these things. Here's one of my paintings, guys. Love it. Not mine, but uh, I, it's mine, but it's made by a Grand Rapids artist, a Hispanic guy, Cuban guy, I believe. And then, of course, my Indonesian one, and then my horse trainer one, Jen Vanderplug. That's a beauty. I really like that one. <laughs> Sharp nice uh, so like I said I did I, I worked on the uh, on the horse um, stalls cleaned them all up I do that every day I mean that's a normal thing but uh, I got to get crack lacking on this project here I got to get done with it because uh, I want to do other things like uh, work on my MGB but of course the Corvette's got to get down and up stairs in the upstairs barn garage the mg comes down and that's going to be my winter project i can't wait to work on that guys it's going to be so much fun uh, my 750 honda my 1970 1970 750 honda 
is still in the shop getting uh, uh, built. Uh, I expected it done already, but uh, and it's winter time. I can't drive it anyway, right? I told them, take your time. So I can't wait till that's done. That's really sharp. He's doing a really good job on it. Travis Brown is the guy's name. So if you guys ever need some motor motorcycle done work done, let me know. Especially the uh, the four cylinder. They call them rice grinders. I wonder why they call them rice grinders. You guys see this, this smudge right here? And there's chicken gravy. I gotta wipe that off. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, so let me go ahead and wrap this up. Just just a, a general update. You know, I haven't been doing much of my projects except for you know fixing stuff but nothing you know no project work like these gardens and the mgb the corvette i'm still waiting on the guy to uh, uh call me and say hey drop the car off i'll get a record to bring it but uh in the meantime i got to get it out of this place because it's taking up all my room and i want to work on my cor my mgb yeah, this thing's gonna rock, guys, once it once it's done. <laughs> it's gonna fly. Alright, see you guys. Bye.